Have you wondered how often pilots are tested or what exactly happens inside a flight simulator? Answers to these questions coming right up. Welcome back to Aviator Inspirations, where I take the mystery out of the aviation industry. If you're new here, consider subscribing so you don't miss any of my future episodes. On this episode, I'm going to explain how often pilots are tested and take you behind the scenes of a day in the flight simulator. So by now, everyone's familiar with the flight training portion and all the different stages of testing that you have to go through. But what happens after you get all your licenses? Is all the training done? Is it party time? No, not quite. Whether you get hired as a flight instructor or start your career at a small charter company, you will have to get retested every single year. Each company has their own training department and you will have to pass their annual training, both a ground school portion and a flight test. By this point, you are a licensed pilot and what they wanna see is your proficiency on the airplane that you are trained and whether you are following correct company procedures. The ground school portion is anywhere between two and three days where you review all the airplane systems, company procedures, and CRM, or Crew Resource Management Training. This is followed up by an exam. The flight portion is essentially an IFR flight test, where you have to demonstrate correct IFR procedures, fly several approaches, deal with emergencies, and perform some upper air exercises like steep turns, stalls, and recovery from unusual attitudes. Having passed all this annual training, you are once again checked out for another year. Next, when you move on to the regional or airline level, the level of training and standard increases significantly. There is no more hand-holding or guidance, you are very much on your own to be ready and prepared for training. When you are first hired, you are given all the manuals and you are expected to come to training prepared. The training starts again with a ground school portion and depending on the airplane type you get can last between two to three weeks, followed by one to two weeks of company training before you are scheduled for the flight simulator. Of course, you again have to pass several exams. Initial simulator training again depends on airplane type but it lasts between one to two weeks, followed by a flight test. Once you pass simulator training, you then have to do line training, where you fly with several training captains, and then you have to pass a line check. Are you done now? No! Now you get tested in the flight simulator every six months, followed by an annual ground school and a line check. Essentially, your job is on the line every six months, because if you don't pass the simulator training, the company can fire you. So as a professional pilot, it is up to you to come to training prepared, because if you don't, the company is only going to give you so many chances. Now, let me take you behind the scenes of my simulator session. Current flight simulator training lasts between one or two days, depending on the company, followed by a flight test, so you don't get much time to practice. The training day is jam-packed full of exercises and emergencies. 
Each simulator session lasts four hours, two hours for you and two hours for your partner, where you perform the pilot monitoring duties, which you are also graded on. You have to work together as a team and pass training together, otherwise you both fail. So you can see why it's important to come prepared, because if you aren't, you are letting your training partner down. The last day is an IFR flight test. It's again four hours long, two hours for you, and two hours for your partner. What made it extra challenging for us this time was that we got the midnight to 4 a.m. time slot. Simulators run 24 hours a day, seven days a week because they are in such high demand. That's why you never know what time you're gonna get, but you still have to perform at your best. Again, it's up to me to come prepared. And a few days before sim started, I would stay up to 3 a.m. just so I could adjust my body clock and be able to perform to the best of my abilities in the middle of the night. At the end of the day, it was my ninth successful sim. So I hope this gives you an idea of how much pilots are actually tested. Over the years, this becomes easier and easier. But if you want more tips, check out my video on why hobbies are important. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next episode.